Hey there, welcome back to Taste the Trend. I'm Devin O'Brien and I'm going to show you how to make caprese stuffed eggplant. So we are taking all of the delicious flavors of a caprese salad and putting them into eggplant for a delicious dinner. So we're gonna have tomatoes and mozzarella and basil and balsamic and olive oil. It's gonna be delicious, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get a one pound eggplant and cut it in half lengthwise. You can just cut right through the stem. I like to leave it on because I think it's pretty, but you could also trim that off if you wanted. So cut it in half lengthwise, and then you wanna scoop out the flesh, but you wanna leave about one quarter of an inch around the border so that you have a nice shell, and that's what we're gonna use to fill. And we are not gonna get rid of this, don't worry. We are going to cook it as part of our filling. So you wanna set that aside and save it. If you wanna make it a little bit easier to scoop, you can just kind of come through and cut like cross hatches, and that will make it at least a little bit easier. Gives you a starting point to put your spoon in, and you can pull those out and they're already kind of pre-diced, so that's nice. Okay, so now you have your hollowed out halves and we are just going to brush them with some olive oil, about one tablespoon of olive oil. Here, you get it all over the flesh of the eggplant. Okay, and then you're gonna put those cut side down on a large baking sheet and roast them until they're tender in a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. Okay, so while that's cooking, we're gonna get started on the filling. You wanna take all of this eggplant that you just hollowed out from the center and dice it up. So it's obviously already gonna be a little bit rough from scooping it, so don't worry about getting a perfect dice, but you just wanna Cut this up and get it into smaller, more manageable pieces for eating. All right. Now we are going to take this over to the stove and get cooking. All right, so you wanna get a large nonstick skillet and put it over medium heat. We're gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil to the pan. So heat that one tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat, and then you're going to add your diced eggplant, as well as one quarter teaspoon of salt, and one quarter teaspoon of pepper. Cook that, stirring occasionally until it's brown and tender, about eight to 10 minutes. All right, once you see all these nice, crispy browned bit, and the eggplant is nice and tender, you can go ahead and remove it from the heat. Okay, so the eggplant is cooked. You can hear it sizzling in there. It's tender and it's got lots of nice crispy browned bits. That's what we're looking for. So remove it from the heat and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients just right into the pan. So I have eight ounces of grape tomatoes here that I've just halved. So make sure you cut those in half first. And we're gonna toss those in. And we're also going to add two and a half ounces of fresh mozzarella that I've just diced. So it gets a little bit in every bite. All right, so mix that in. And then we are going to add one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, as well as a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of ground pepper. All right, and toss that all up. It smells delicious. The cheese is starting to get a little melty already. It's gonna be delicious. That. Okay, so set that aside and go get the cooked eggplant shells out of your oven. 
Okay, our shells are out of the oven. They're nice and tender and ready to be filled. All right, so we're just gonna flip each of these over. Ooh, did you see all that steam below out? And it's got like a nice browning on the edges. Looks delicious. All right, and now we're just gonna take that filling we made and divide it between the shells. Yum. So now that those are stuffed, you're gonna leave them face up like this and put them back in the oven for about five minutes just to get the whole thing heated through. The final product is out of the oven and it looks so good. The cheese is all melty and gooey looking. So I am just going to transfer these to a serving platter. To finish these off, you just wanna drizzle them with one more tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Gonna add so much delicious flavor. And I've got some fresh basil here that I'm gonna sprinkle on top. Gorgeous. Okay, I cannot wait to give this a taste. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my gosh, this is so good. There's so much flavor. It's cheesy, delicious. What's there not to love? You gotta make this eggplant. And if you try it, take a picture and tag me on Instagram. I wanna see your creations. And comment below to let me know what you wanna see me make next. I'll see you next time.